Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to How To Do Computers. I'm Mike, and I hope you're having a great day so far. So today I thought I'd go over a simple installation of Hyper-V, that's Microsoft's virtualization platform, on Windows 10 Home Edition. Now, if you go here to Microsoft's support page for installing Hyper-V, it'll tell you the Hyper-V role cannot be installed on Windows 10 Home. This is false, and I will show you how. So right now we're running a fresh install of Windows 10 Home Edition. As you can see here, this is in fact Windows 10 Home Edition. But if you search for Hyper-V, it's not installed. And in fact, if you try to find the feature to enable, it's not there. So the first thing we need to do is check and see if our computer is ready for virtualization. How we do that is we run a command prompt and we'll type in system info. Wait for it to load. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you see here there are four options. All of these options need to have yes next to them. If you see that one or more of them have no, you may need to go into the BIOS and change some settings to enable virtualization. So what we need to do to actually enable Hyper-V is to create a batch file. I have the script here that we're going to use. I'll go ahead and paste that down in the description of the video. What we need to do is copy this, open up Notepad, paste it in Notepad, and then we will save it as a batch file. So we'll call this Hyper-V. And we need to change that extension to .bat. Go to our desktop and we'll save it here. Close out of all of this. You'll right click on the file and hit run as administrator. It will then begin installing the packages. So you'll just need to wait for that to finish. So now that it's done installing all of the packages, it'll ask us for a restart. We'll just enter Y right here, and I'll get back to you once the restart is complete. Okay, so we're back after the restart, and Hyper-V should now be installed and ready to be used. Let's go ahead and check. And there it is. You should now be able to use Hyper-V just as you would if you had Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise Edition. Alright, that's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.